If you've ever used a portfolio collection on Squarespace, you've probably noticed the glaring issue with it. And that's that any new item you create in the portfolio automatically becomes live on your website with no ability to set it to a draft state while you're working on it. Now this leads to a very unprofessional look. Imagine if someone came to your site and saw a half created portfolio item. And this is kind of shocking that Squarespace hasn't addressed this in the last three years especially for a platform that caters to designers and artists that are creating portfolios. So I took it upon myself to create code that you can copy and paste into your site and it gives you the ability to add draft states to portfolio collections in Squarespace 7.1. Now first we need to copy and paste the code into the site. So navigate to the link in the description below this video and grab the code and then navigate to your pages panel and then click the portfolio collection that you want to add the code to. Now if you have multiple portfolios that you want to enable this draft functionality on, you'll need to add it to the page header code injection of each portfolio collection on your site. So I have one portfolio collection here, so I'm going to click the gear icon and then go to advanced and I've pasted the code into the page header code injection. So now that I've done that, I have the code on the site. I'm going to navigate to my portfolio collection and I'm going to show you first how to add the draft state to an existing item. So I'm going to add it to project five here. So all I have to do is click these three dots and click settings. And now I'm just going to write parentheses, draft, parentheses. And it's important that the word draft has a capital D and is in parentheses. Um, that is all that is needed to set this project to draft. So now when I hit save on this landing page, if I go back to the portfolio collection, so we now have project one, two, three, four, six, seven. So you can see project five is no longer appearing on our website. It's no longer a live project. And if we go to project four, you'll notice that in the pagination below, we're no longer seeing project five as the next project, we see project six. And then conversely, if we were to go right to project six, we wouldn't see project five, we only see project four. So project five is truly hidden. Now, likewise, if I go to this website and I try to go directly to the project five page and hit enter, it's gonna take me to that portfolio page, but then it's immediately gonna redirect me back to the main portfolio. So uh, this is important for projects that already have indexed links. If project five is an older project that you now need to set to a draft and that link is already indexed by Google, if someone stumbles across it, they're just gonna be redirected to the main portfolio page where that project will not be visible. So that kind of handles things from an SEO perspective. But one thing that you also might want to do is go to the SEO page and because we've made the title of the page draft and then project five, if this were to get indexed by Google, the page name would have draft in it. So I recommend for pages that you're setting to draft to come in here to the SEO title and just uh, rename it. So this would just be project five. And that way, if this page gets indexed by Google, we no longer have that draft in the page title. We're overriding it with the SEO title here. So now I can hit save. So we're totally covered from an SEO standpoint. Uh, we are totally covered if someone goes to your portfolio. And we're also totally covered from a pagination perspective if someone lands on a project and it, it just makes sure that they can't navigate to that draft state. So it would be the same process for any new project that you add or anything that you duplicate. So here I'll add a new project. Uh, I'm just gonna set this title to draft. And then I'll, because this one is called, uh, I'll just call it project two, that's fine. I'll make sure that the URL slug doesn't have draft in it. So the URL slug is project two. And since I already have a project two, let me actually call this project 31, um, just so I have a new URL slug here. So project 31, URL slug, project 31. Just have to make sure I come in here and change the SEO title to project 31. So now when I hit save, if I go to our main portfolio collection, 
I've added a new item, but because I have it set to draft, we're not going to see that item live on the site. So I have all the time in the world that I need to work on finalizing this item. Um, and likewise, if we go to project 30, you know, we can't navigate to project 31. It's truly set to a draft state. And when I'm ready to publish this item on my site, all I have to do is go to settings and just remove this draft tag here and hit save. And now if I go to our work, we'll finally see that it's back live on the site, project 31. And if I go to project 30, we'll see it back in the pagination as well. We can now navigate to project 31. So again, this is a very robust solution and it's really easy to manage too. You just have to make sure that you follow this exactly. Parentheses, capital D, the word draft, and then closing parentheses, and then of course a space in between your project title name. As long as you copy and paste the code into the portfolio's page header code injection and follow this naming convention, then you're good to go. And just remember for the SEO title, it's probably best to change it to whatever the project name is. That way the page doesn't get indexed with draft already in it. So like any creative endeavor, writing this code has taken a lot of time. I would implement a solution, realize it needed more functionality, change it a little bit, run into more roadblocks, overcome them, and ultimately I followed that creative process to what is now a very robust plugin. And I truly think I've thought of everything for this solution. So I bring that up because I was really waffling on whether I should release this for free or as a paid plugin in my shop because it took so much time to develop. And ultimately my goal is to help 100,000 Squarespace web designers create better Squarespace websites. So to that end, I've decided to release this for free. So you can grab the code in the link below this video and just copy and paste it right into your site. Now, if you use this code and you get a ton of value from it and it saves one of your projects, it would be much appreciated if you want to donate at the link below just to help compensate me for some of my time creating this plugin. But again, I wanted it to be free and accessible to as many people as possible. And also please consider subscribing to the channel for more Squarespace content like this. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one.